Well, early childhood development is key to education, and that's why Ector County ISD is giving parents a head start for younger kids. So, Christina, what steps uh, is the district taking right now to grow in their early childhood department this year? Well, Jolena, when I had the chance to speak with Beatrice Mata, ECISD's Director of Early Childhood Education, she tells me this new development and program, like their pre-K-3 program that starts this year, is a way for them to make sure their students are receiving good curriculum with a solid foundation. With ECISD students starting back classes next week, teachers and staff are making sure to be prepared for them. And ECISD's Director of Early Childhood Education, Beatrice Mata, is ready for the new younger kiddos this year. We're ready. We have the curriculum. We're, we have, we're opening up boxes. We are, you know, taking our everything out of, I mean, we are getting ready. It's like Christmas in our classrooms right now. And I mean, what's a better gift than some fun learning for these little ones? We want you, our students there, we want to expose them to mathematics, to literature, to just the wonderment of learning. Um, we want to pull them in. But that's not all they will be exposed to. They start collaboratively. They have a music and movement throughout the day. We have um, great um, technology pieces that we're integrating into our instruction as well. And of course, we always have our hands-on approach um, through small group um, instruction and our center play. And especially with this being the first time most of these kids are away from mom and dad, Mata tells me they want to make sure every child is in a good place. And so we are looking at the social emotional growth. You know, that's a really big um, piece this year. You know, our kids coming in from, you know, the year we just had of COVID. And, you know, we want to ensure that we have a safe learning environment. So, of course, that's number one. You know, our kids come in, they feel safe. They, you know, we make sure we do everything to lay that foundation for that um, community. And now I actually have the chance to speak with one mo mother whose daughter will be in the program. So Monday morning, I'll be sharing their story right here on News West 9.